All right, folks, the Truth Teller here. Welcome back to Baloo Sports Bar. Each and every week we talk about the Florida State Seminoles. It's a vlog, and it's brought to you by my good buddy, Russ Voris. Very good to see Russ uh, before the Clemson game on Saturday. What a scare for all your insurance needs. Just call Russ Voris. He's a great guy. He's a knoll. He's a good person. 276-9535. He is with State Farm for all your insurance needs. Call Russ Voris. Voorhees. All right, a scare, survive, advance, Clemsoning, any way you want to say it is fine with me, a gift-wrapped victory for Florida State at the hands of the Clemson Tigers. Reminds me an awful lot of Miami in the late 80s and through the decade of the 90s, where clearly Florida State was the better team, but they found a way to lose the game to the Canes. I think that's what you could say now often about the Clemson Tigers. I mean, typically Clemson does this with Wake or with BC or with Maryland when they were in the Atlantic Coast Conference, not with Florida State. Hey, you take it, uh, it's a big win, no doubt about it. Now, with Florida State, there are some issues, no question about it. I mean, this team right now is not nearly as good as it was one year ago, particularly the offensive line, okay? Austin Barron, beating like a drum. Uh, Cameron Irvin, Awful performance. Bobby Hart on the other side. Uh, jumped offside a couple of times or a legal procedure a couple of times. Way too many mistakes for what is considered the best offensive line in all of college football. What have they done? They're going to make some changes. Barron, bam, you're out. Irving, the center, bam. Bobby Hart, right tackle to left tackle. Mavety, junior college transfer, right tackle. Now he'll be uh, starting near this weekend if, in fact, Jimbo Fisher elects to go with that lineup. Florida State overall is struggling, but here's the deal. It's okay. You're in a soft schedule, okay? NC State, even though it's a snake pit, Knowles can't win there. They, uh, the ass on the ball from Ty Jones to Christian Ponder, the, maybe the worst game uh, in the history of Jimbo Fisher's career uh, two years ago. Uh, E.J. Manuel is a senior, uh, not knowing that there's going to be a blindside sack and turning his back and, and not being able to avoid um, a pass rusher, just brutal mistakes at Carter Finley. But this Florida State team is talented. They are a better football team. They should be able to go there and win. They also catch them at 3.30 Eastern, not at night. That's a break. Right now, if you're a Florida State fan, you want every single break that you can get. But my point is this. NC State, soft. Wake Forest, softer. Clem, uh, excuse me, Syracuse, soft disc. Three weeks in a row, easy football games for Florida State. Let me ask you one question right now, Florida State fans. You think Florida State's one of the top four teams today in college football? No, they are not. But you know what? You don't have to be right now today. All you have to do is to get better week after week after week. The scare with Oklahoma State the gift wrapped with Clemson. You need some luck to get into the Final Four. You need some luck to get to the National Championship game. Look what happened to Auburn one year ago. So don't freak out. It's only week four for Florida State. I guess it's week five after the bye two weeks ago. They need to get better now. NC State, Wake, Syracuse, better, better, better before the big showdown against Notre Dame coming up uh, in the mid part, uh, or I guess the later part of October. All right, for FSU now, you know, the Jameis Winston debacle was a major mess. Um, overall, just another embarrassment for Florida State. There's really no other way to say it. I happen to be the one guy around here who defended Jameis, who wouldn't have suspended him. Obviously, uh, from what I've been told and what I've been talking about on my radio show, uh, the feeling is, is that Jameis Winston wouldn't have been suspended as well by head coach Jimbo Fisher. Others wanted him out. To see what Stan Wilcox did as the athletic director, to cave into media pressure, to cave into rivals pressure late on Friday night is awful. He's not a leader. Uh, John Thrasher stepped in yesterday as new president of Florida State. Great hire. By the way, I never been one to pat myself on the back. But check my timeline. I told you that six months ago that he would be the next president at FSU. It's a good move. This is a program right now that is in dire need of leadership. Again, it's just been one mistake 
after another. Ask Jameis, okay? The debacle of the uniform, the logo, not visiting the president. Listen, okay? So he's been awful, and he's been learning on the job for the last eight years. You still go and you shake the man's hand. Mont Bonasort calling into my show, telling me that I'm credible, that I break all these stories, and then he defends Jeremy Pruitt when he sneaks out at midnight. It's just been one negative story after another for FSU. Time for that to end. Good luck, John Thrasher. Florida State needs a man with a backbone. They need some true leadership. All right. Offensively, the old struggle. Uh, no doubt about it. It's a good Clemson defense. A very good front seven. Um, but it was nice to see what the young kid Sean McGuire did. He made a lot of mistakes. Bottom line, Florida State got it done. They got themselves a victory in what was a very ugly football game played this Saturday night. It looked more for Mario Pender, if he, in fact he is healthy. Uh, hopefully the development of some younger wide receivers continue in these next three weeks. Wilson a little bit more involved. We didn't see Lane. We didn't see Rudolph. That's an issue. Scooter Hagens on a milk carton. Haven't seen him at all uh, offensively. Defensively, boy, there's the issue. If there's one problem that Florida State could not have, it's injuries on that defensive line. And with NLS now out for the remainder of the year with a torn peck, is a tremendous blow for FSU. Niall Lawrence Stample right next to Eddie Goldman, who, by the way, is all man. Eddie Goldman was absolutely phenomenal on Saturday night. Uh, the strip late to get that fumble, uh, the recovery, I believe, which was... Um, uh, recovered by Andrews, uh, as well as uh, really shedding the block and getting the initial arm uh, on the ball carry on that fourth and one when Dabo did his classic Dabo. Uh, Northrop cleaned it up. Terrence Smith cleaned it up. Eddie Goldman has been a monster. But they're really going to miss Niall Lawrence Stample. That's the issue I have right now for FSU. Where is the depth going to come from? Can you count on Naughty? Can you count on Christmas? Can you count on these young freshmen? Can Bryant play, who looks really out of shape and hasn't done it so far uh, as a defensive tackle? That's something to look for this week. I believe they also have to get a little bit better in the secondary. Give Kent, uh, Clemson credit. Give Deshaun Watson credit. Uh, I know it was good coverage by the corners. The safety position, particularly Tyler Hunter, is one right now of concern overall for Florida State. But again, as I said a moment ago, the next three weeks, it's about getting better. And can they do that against soft competition? I believe they can. Also looking for a little bit more depth. We didn't see Levenberry. We didn't see any backup linebackers. That's something right now at Florida State uh, that overall we need more of. All right, so overall for FSU, wow. Tremendous scare. What a crowd on Saturday night. One of the greatest atmospheres that I've ever seen in Tallahassee. Uh, just flat out as good as you ever could have expected. They're doing their part. I know there's a lot of dissension within the program. I know there's a lot of opinions coming from this, and there's a lot of opinions coming uh, from this side. You know what? Here's my advice to you, especially for your work. People start giving you the Jameis this and the Jameis that. Just smile and ignore, okay? Can I copyright that right now today? Smile and ignore. Here's the bottom line. It's you against them. It's you against the world. Florida State is despised now. No more of this love for Bobby Bowden. No more of this, the SEC wins the national title every year. Uh, you know, Joe in Portland, Maine, or Al in Seattle, Washington is going to pull for the Knowles over an SEC team. That's gone. The Jameis situation has created hate. It's real easy to hate in amateur athletics. So ask yourself this question. Are you able to accept that? Are you able to put yourself on that island? Is the field corner? And make yourself and put yourself in position where it's you against everyone else. I'm going to sit back and enjoy this. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and it's going to be a great ride. All right. My name is Rick Ballou. Enemies, friends, refer to me as a truth teller. I am on the radio each and every day from 3 to 7 on 1010XL and 92.5 FM right here in Jacksonville. You can reach me all the time by going to Twitter, at Ballou, B-A-L-L-O-U, 1010XL.com. All right, 
as we slide over here to Booking Sports Bar, I will tell you as well that my report is brought to you daily by Russ Voorhees. Hey, Russ, you're doing a great job at State Farm, and his number is 276-9535. You can also get him by going to russvoorhees.com. In my 21 years as a broadcaster, perhaps my most favorite interview of all time was with former Boston Celtics president and coach Red Auerbach, okay? Red Auerbach was known after big victories to fire up a cigar. That's just the way Red was. A big ball of joy and enjoyed life each and every day. Florida State 23, Clemson 17. Red, this one's for you. 